The Lumix S series is one of the most adaptable camera systems thanks to the L mount. We're going to walk you through a few of the lenses that are adaptable and show you what sort of behavior you can expect from the camera. Why don't we go ahead and start with adapting some Leica native L mount lenses to the system. So we'll remove the camera's lens. We're going to start with a full frame 16 to 35 lens. Once we have it mounted, what you can expect is the autofocus will work. In addition, as we zoom the lens, it will communicate its focal length, so you'll know what your focal length is. You can see that it's using all 24 megapixels of the sensor in photo, and in video mode, it's the full sensor area, so you're getting the entire sensor area. It's also important to note that the image stabilization in the body is working, and as you zoom the lens, this information that's communicated helps to optimize the stabilization system. Let's adapt an L-mount lens that's an APS-C crop. So, this is in 18 to 56. So as we mount the APS-C lens, the APS-C lens just communicated to the body that it's now an APS-C lens. So now you can see that we have APS-C as the sensor crop and the camera automatically set us for photo a 10.5 megapixel center crop of the sensor. So this is an active adapter. So this behavior should be the same with most active adapters on the market. So when we connect this adapter to the camera, you'll be able to see that we're back to 24 megapixels for stills. You'll also see that for video, we're at a full frame crop. And as I zoom the lens, it's communicating its focal length information. And that means that my stabilization system's also working with this as well. And as I zoom, it will alter the focal length to make sure the stabilization is optimized. So when we connect a passive adapter, this is a zoom lens, a passive adapter lens. This particular adapter has a ring to control the aperture of the lens. We will then connect our lens. And when you power the camera on, because there's no communication that's happening, we need to optimize the stabilization. So you can either do this from the movie camera mode, the bottom option on the bottom page, or from the photo mode under image stabilization, the second to bottom option. In stabilized mode, we need to change the focal length. So when we change the focal length, we are optimizing it for the lens so that we know the angle of view and the stabilizer can work its best. I'm set to 24 millimeters on this lens right now, so I would need to set it to 24, either by going here and pressing up and down, or I can simply press this preset for 24, either way. Now I'm set, but as I zoom the lens, I've just changed the focal length, which means I need to go back in to the stabilization, change the focal length to 50 millimeters. And now I'm ready to go. So with passive adapters, it's never wise to be zooming as you're shooting because the stabilization will only be optimized for one focal length. That's why with a lens like this, you're better off using a prime lens, in this case a 50 millimeter. Then go into the camera stabilization, make sure you have it set to 50. And now we're ready to go. So we know a lot of you are gonna be uh, making movies, videos, and you may wanna use lenses like this. This is a PL lens with a specialized PL mount. There are adapters for PL as well. So we're gonna mount our PL adapter. We're then going to make sure we have our positive lock, which is the PL of PL mount, ready to go. Line up our pin to make sure that it's on here. Then we turn the PL adapter to tighten the lens on. And again, it's a 35 millimeter lens, so we have to go into the camera's menu 
Most likely with this type of lens, we would be in the movie camera menu. So we're going to go to movie, bottom tab, image stabilizer. And we're going to set this to 35 millimeters, which there's a preset right here. Press set. And now we're set to 35 millimeters. Now, some folks may want to take advantage of medium format lenses like Mamiya 645 and use a focal reducer. Uh, this allows us to give you one full stop of extra light gathering from the lens, and it gives you a wider angle of view than if you used an 80 millimeter lens on this camera normally. So um, the thing we have to do first is remove our PL lens. Here's our focal reducer adapter. This is for a Mamiya 645. We mount the adapter. We then take our 80 millimeter Mamiya lens. We mount our lens. Now it's seated. So keep something in mind. Now that we're using an 80 millimeter lens, we need to optimize the stabilization. But we don't want to tell the camera it's 80 millimeters because when we run it through the focal reducer, there's a 0.71 magnification that happens. So if you multiply 80 by 0.71, that comes out to 56.8 millimeters. So we go into the camera's menu, go to stabilization. Again, we could do this either from the photo or video menu, either one. From stabilizer, we select 5, 6, 0.8. And now the stabilization has been optimized for a focal reduced optic. And that's the behavior you can expect from an S-series camera when you adapt lenses.